From wiggly pink mustaches to a global ride-sharing giant, this is the incredible story of Lyft. The company outperformed with its revamped business model. Did you know that Lyft meets the challenging demand for a better and safer transportation system? Lyft has become a household name since its inception in 2012. Lyft is a very popular way for people in the United States and Canada to book rides. Logan Green and John Zimmer founded Lyft in 2012, making it the second largest ride-sharing company in the United States. It's been known since its inception to provide various services such as giving rides, arranging a driver, delivering food, and so on. Lyft has extensive and well-developed routes in its field. Do you want to know more? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Let's rewind. Since the 1970s, transportation has evolved significantly, allowing passengers to more comfortably ride to their destinations in automobiles, motorcycles, scooters, taxis, buses, and most recently, ride-sharing. The increased popularity of the ride-share industry is primarily due to its being safe, affordable, and effective mode of transportation for those who can't afford or just choose not to own a car. From the driver's perspective, the rise of the rideshare industry has significantly boosted economic growth by providing unique employment and quasi-entrepreneurial opportunities for many people worldwide. Logan Green and John Zimmer, two computer programmers, founded Zimride, a long-distance inner-city carpooling service between college campuses in 2007. Green got the idea after visiting Zimbabwe and observing locals using crowdsourced carpool networks to commute. Green used Greyhound buses and Craigslist in the United States to get rides between Santa Barbara and Los Angeles, California. During his college years, John Zimmer, a Lehman Brothers analyst and carpooling enthusiast, organized shared commutes from Cornell University to New York City. Zimmer came across a social media post about Zimride and met Green through a mutual friend. In the summer of 2012, they launched Lyft as a Zimride service in San Francisco, California. Now let's get into the further details. What is Lyft exactly? Lyft is an American-based mobility company that operates the second largest trusted rideshare service in the United States. Lyft has an application that works in people's favor to help them with their travel plans. Besides travel management, it provides other services such as food delivery, ride sharing, and even bicycle rental. Lyft's app and website makes use of over 58 technology products and services. This allows for the easy and up-to-date use of its technology. Lyft is not a taxi service. Instead, it connects users with service providers to profit. The startup story of a brilliant idea, Lyft. At first, Lyft was only a component of Zimride. The story of how it became the solo project of John Zimmer and Logan Green is quite intriguing. Lyft is not a platform for on-road ride-sharing. Instead, it's the second most popular ride-sharing service in the United States. To understand why Lyft exists, one must first understand the story of Zimride. Lyft was originally a part of Zimride before being sold to a private company. The founders of Lyft met through a mutual friend and became acquainted on Facebook. Logan Green used to visit his girlfriend in Los Angeles. Green used to share rides for long distance travel, however the main point of the journey was his anxiety about unknown drivers and passengers. On the other hand, John Zimmer used to own a car, but had no potential rider to share with it. He noticed that 80% of seats on American highways are empty. In 2007, the two friends pooled their resources and founded Zimride, a carpooling service. The inspiration for the name Zimride came from Zimbabwe, where people shared rides as their primary mode of transportation. Zimride was designed with college students in mind. It was designed to provide convenient access to campus by carpooling. They also provided an excellent opportunity for students to earn money through Zimride. Zimride had thousands of users and over 150 universities participating in the business until 2012. Even after such a great accomplishment, the co-founders were left with some unease. That's when Logan Green and John Zimmer founded Lyft to improve the business and provide more convenient options for users. In 2012, they built and launched the Lyft app with this concept in mind. Lyft began raising funds for its development soon after launch. Lyft also provided a viable competitor to the already established ride-sharing company, Uber. With Lyft's constant expansion, the co-founders of Lyft decided to rename Zimride Lyft in 2013. They also sold Zimride services to Enterprise Holdings. Lyft has since attempted to achieve its goal and is still on its way to success despite some bumps in the road. The importance of culture. Lyft had a successful year in 2017. The San Francisco-based company now covers 95% of the United States, and the number of rides per year has reached a staggering 375.5 million, which is especially impressive compared to the previous year's figures of 162.5 million. This explosive growth can be attributed to gaining market share from its main competitor. 
Customers who saw Lyft's values first passion over profits motives left the dominant ride sharing platform to support the company with social purpose. John recognized that his X factor was more than just ride sharing. It was a company culture that was innovative, creative, and caring. The passenger is the ultimate customer, he said. But if we don't take care of our drivers, the passenger will have a bad experience. Lyft prioritizes both the customer and the driver experience. That's why Lyft has always allowed their drivers to be tipped and has innovated by enabling drivers to be paid the same day and renting vehicles when they don't want to use their own. We've always said what's best for drivers is what's best for customers, John said, and it's paying off. The challenges and limitations. As Lyft's business grew and their hiring requirements multiplied exponentially, they discovered that their ATS needed to scale to their needs. Before implementing Greenhouse, Lyft faced the following challenges. Lack of structured hiring. There needed to be a standardized hiring process, and the ATS could have been used more consistently throughout the company. Every step of the process was unique to each candidate, making scaling recruitment extremely difficult. Inefficiencies such as excessive number of on-site interviews per hire necessitated a significant time commitment from interviewers. Insecure systems and manual processes. Lyft's Previant Applicant Tracking System, or ATS, lacked the necessary permission settings to give the recruiting team control over access to confidential and private information. As a result, the team kept critical information in a separate tool that required manual entry, ultimately distinct from the ATS. Ineffective Referrals and Reporting Before partnering with Greenhouse, Lyft used 12,000 different referral sources and candidate tags, making it near impossible to pinpoint how candidates ended up at Lyft. Lyft couldn't trust its data because many of their sources and information were stored outside the system. Partnership with Greenhouse for Success Lyft determined that Greenhouse recruiting met its requirements for engaging hiring teams, having reliable data, and reducing inefficiencies. The seamless integration of Greenhouse recruiting with Workday was also a differentiating factor. Lyft identified two critical success factors when implementing Greenhouse. One, going live as soon as possible to limit the impact on hiring roles in the process. Two, involving stakeholders from all levels of the organization throughout the process. Lyft's talent team implemented truly structured hiring after selecting Greenhouse Recruiting. This modified strategy included the following. Consistent interview stages and plans to increase efficiency, scorecards that provide quality feedback from every interview, permissions to manage access to confidential information, and reliable data for understanding candidate expertise, referral quality, and more. Lyft's Competitive Advantage Lyft's Competitive Advantage is based on three fundamental principles. Maintaining a clear reputation, promptly resolving customer and employee concerns, and providing a safe ride experience that's cost-effective enough for riders to prefer their service. A generic strategy's success in delivering competitive advantage depends on the firm's chain successfully supporting its generic system by adding more value to its products and services than competitors. Lyft's competitive edge in the market stems from its long-term goal of providing a simple service by increasing passenger comfort during commutes by allowing passengers to rate drivers and provide anonymous feedback on potential areas of improvement. Economically, Lyft enables affordable transportation and flexible earnings to improve the life of its passengers. The main reason for Lyft's popularity Lyft grew so popular that by 2017, the company announced that it would add another 100 cities in the United States to its ever-expanding roster. Lyft made a splash with its shiny cars and bright logos in an industry that classic styles and clean cuts had previously dominated. Lyft has carved out a niche in the transportation industry by changing how people drive and by turning ride-sharing into a community event rather than just another app like Uber. Despite facing numerous regulations and restrictions, Lyft has grown over the years to become a billion-dollar company, not by chance, but through its purely business attitude. Although the bright pink mustache has vanished from Lyft's logo, it remains an essential part of the journey of this innovative ride-sharing service. Lyft has transformed how people share rides, from introducing female drivers in the industry to becoming a one-of-a-kind community. An ongoing version. It's not about unseating the competition for John. It's all about becoming a viable alternative to owning a car and eventually reinventing the entire transportation landscape. It's about putting technology to good use. A car seats are only used about 1% of the time. That's one of the lowest occupancy rates in the industry and would be considered a very poorly run hotel. Despite this, the average household spends $9,000 a year on owning and operating a car. John wishes to contribute to the reduction of these costs. 
John's aware that influential leaders have a compelling mission. His company's vision is to become a complete replacement for automobiles, to transform transportation into a service rather than a product and reduce car ownership costs. There will be plenty of problems to solve along the way, which is exactly how a true entrepreneur like John thrives. Lessons for entrepreneurs from Lyft's story. Create a need. Like Lyft, a great driver's ability to be a tour guide is one of the many hats they wear while transporting passengers, particularly out-of-state visitors. It is also essential to recognize your rider's likes, dislikes, and needs to provide them with the necessary experience. Listen to what they want to hear, and they will tip you accordingly. Focus on the problem. The founders of Lyft had a clear goal, to improve people's lives by revolutionizing transportation. Before Lyft, the pair spent five years developing Zimride, a carpool service that assisted university students in sharing rides home during the holidays. Zimride began by selling enterprise licenses to universities and businesses, but after several years of slow growth, the company decided to shift its focus directly to consumers. However, adoption could have been even faster with the new plan. The team eventually settled on Zimride Instant, which allowed users to request rides from the community members via their mobile phones after iterating through several other ideas. This product was renamed Lyft, and Lyft pioneered peer-to-peer -peer ride sharing as we know today with its launch in 2012. Develop a differentiated brand strategy. Lyft created an authentic, values-driven brand that appealed to the community of its younger, socially conscious consumers to differentiate in a price-competitive market. Lyft's positioning as your friend with a car contrasted sharply with Uber's on-demand black car service, which expected riders to ride in the back and be chauffeured to their destination. Lyft's emphasis on attracting younger users who valued friend Lyft's emphasis on attracting younger users who valued its friendlier and more progressive messaging paid off in the form of faster growth among younger users compared to competitors. Lessons from early entrants. While establishing a presence in an untapped market, a new entrant will frequently pay a high price in terms of money, talent, and effort. Uber paved the way in many markets by educating the market, onboarding drivers, and negotiating regulations with local stakeholders. Even though Uber was the first to arrive in those markets, Lyft was able to leverage Uber's groundwork to ramp up its operations quickly. That said, you just explored the incredible and exceptional story of Lyft. So what do you think about this video? Comment below and share this with all the business minds you know. Keep an eye out for more of this type of content.